This comic dub is a non-profit, fan-made production. The official comic is created by Wendy Leon Martin and edited by Eunice Bayek. Please support the official comic linked in the description. And enjoy! I will escort the beacon to the dungeon. my prince ah well she'll do great i know it oh thank you <laughs> oh siren go talk oh, to him uh, oh, excuse prince. me go good luck oh, look, my prince. the prince <laughs> there he is i figured he'd spend a few more hours hiding he looks surprisingly composed. Don't hold your breath. So, what did the beacon say when you told him the details of our prophecy? Nothing. He didn't say a word when he arrived, or when the guards locked him up. Not that his reaction matters. He's going to die regardless. You say that as though you're the one killing him, rather than your fickle son. He's not fickle, he's- ah! Coming this way. Bob, how are you feeling? Fine. Mm. I haven't seen you shake like this since your first spear lesson. I'm just very excited. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um. I know you don't feel fit for this role, but you aren't alone. We're all here to support you. Everything will get better once it's over and done with. <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone here? All but the lookouts. Good. We can begin. Please ask the guards to get everyone's attention. Prince Siren. <clears throat> the ceremonial spear. Oh, oh um, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for gathering so quickly. We lost two more people to the curse last month. Sift and Saline were both killed by falling rocks while patrolling our castle. Sift had recently become a father, and Saline was due to be married the following week. We were cursed 100 years ago when a shark queen killed the mini-god known as Neris. Neris attacked the queen's castle unprovoked, so she cut a deathly mark down his body with her spear. As Neris bled to death, he spoke his final words. You will regret killing me. My blood is a poison that will curse you forever. Your people will be a target for tragedy and despair. Their bodies will become a collection of wounds and scars. Until there is nothing left. Feel my hatred and suffer. Since then, our population has dropped from 20,000 to just a few hundred. No matter where we moved or what precautions we took, the curse remained. However, the sharks before us documented a prophecy, one where a prince without scars would purify our castle using the blood of the beacon and finally end our suffering. I'm sure you've all heard by now that the beacon has arrived at our castle. Today is the day we have all been waiting for. In a moment, our prince will be leaving to complete his role in the prophecy. 
From now on, we will live long, peaceful lives. No more scars, no more fear. Just the same calm existence as any other castle. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say beforehand. In honor of everyone we've lost, let's put this curse to an end. Yes! Break the curse! Siren? <laughs> to ensure that nothing interferes with the prophecy, you'll be going to the dungeon alone. We won't follow you. That spear has a long reach. Just slip it through the cell bars, and the beacon can't touch you. We're counting on you. Oh, you're the one who has to kill me.